What is happening folks? Tripler here. I have now spent one year on YouTube and I'd like to show you some of the highlights and how things got started. Check it out. I collect so many things would you like to share this journey with me? I will show you the prizes I got today. So come along so with come me, along with come me. on and join me the chase. chase. Yeah. Folks, today's episode is simply just going to be a thank you for joining me on this journey of hunting with Tripler. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do when I started this channel, but I knew I wanted to do something around reselling. I was recording content for an entire year before I even posted my first YouTube video, and my first YouTube video was this. What's happening, guys? So I figured um, a good way to get into the spirit of Saturday night is to show you a local pickup I just had. Let me show you what I got. The system's in pretty good shape, so you should take a look at that. Uh, Pokemon Snap, which is fine. Um, it was painted, so this is not originally red, and you can tell by the bottom. Bomber Man here, this is cool. Label, not in great shape, but still, this should be about $20 in resale. Star Fox 64, this one actually still sells for decent money. You can get 12 bucks for this one, but really what drew me to this lot was this guy, Ocarina of Time. Oh no, I'm sorry, Majora's Mask. And Ocarina of Time. That's my pickup for this evening. Not a bad one, but I'm happy with it. Thanks a lot. So I wasn't sure when I put up that video if I was gonna get any views, if I even had a sense of direction with respect to posting video game content, posting just general resale content. I didn't know. It was kind of like I was just throwing something out there in the universe and seeing if anything would come back. And you guys have really helped me define what the content is. And part of the evolution of the content that I'm making now has a lot to do with some of the content that I like watching myself. Some of the channels that I think are great channels have amazing viewers, also have a lot of repetition in it, and that's not a bad thing. It's just that I wanted to be able to make content that was always slightly different. Yes. There's repetition in my videos as well. My videos are intended to give you just a different look and to create a little bit of intrigue with respect to my editing. And I just put a lot of time into creating the backdrop for what I hope will be educational for you and enjoyable. So I suppose that's exactly how we got to this point. But at the same time, there's a lot that I have to learn and I'm learning a lot from you guys and other channels. There are so many of you that are out there who have done an awesome job of teaching me about YouTube and helping me grow my channel. And to all of my viewers, Thank you for being a part of Hunting with Tripler. I don't get to say it enough, but you guys have really changed my interest in YouTube in general. What I'd like to do next is show you just a few highlights that we've had over the last year. And yes, we've done this before, but I think it's worth noting that there have been some great pickups. So let's jump into some footage of some amazing finds over the past year from being on YouTube. A nice little recap. Let's check this out. How you doing? PlayStation. I have parts of the Dragon Zord. I have three parts to the Megazord. No, none of the accessories. I do have some parts of the Titanus, but this is where I literally almost fell over. All right, folks. This is a great score. So this, this Micronauts Battle Cruiser looks super cool, right? Well, let me show you what happens 
when you open the box. Boom, that happens. Star Wars Land Cruiser in the box, original. <laughs> Quest for Cutco has yielded results. Okay. You want to know why I agreed to it? Because for the first time in the wild, I got that. Over there, and he's got too many of them. Oh yeah. Talk about the highlights. Um, Battlefront 2 is certainly a good one, but this one is fantastic because it's still sealed. Of course, that's fantastic. You can got to appreciate the beauty of that. Complete Castlevania, Xenosaga, Haunted Mansion for GameCube, Kodama, Defender, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is still sealed. How about your Wii U? I saw you had a box in there. Are you selling that by any chance? The Wii U? Yeah. Do we want the Wii U? No. I have that one. Yeah. I would be... I would be... There. This is exactly what it looked like in the ad. You could see there were like two or three games stacked on top of each other. And then it was a sweet surprise to see the Sonic Advance. That's a good game. This is what made it all worth it. Booyah! Here is a sweet cannon pickup for seven dollars. This is over forty easily, especially with the case. It's cannon branded. Nice. Oh, cool! I took a look. Yeah, this is that. That's the one I've been really excited about. I, I have, I have a Wii U, but that one is so sweet. Master system. Okay, we have made the swap, so that's ready to go as well. We're looking pretty good here. And this, plus this, is what I got in return. It was a haul, <laughs> and it was a massive haul. Okay, here's everything. All sides of it. All of them, that's basically, okay. essentially three a piece. Oh wait, no, that's not, that's $18. Yeah. Let's, let's scan it first. Here are the three bins right here, one, two, and three. And then here are the five to seven boxes. Come on! Are you serious? I just got some epic, epic gold in the form of a green turtle. Those were the awesome finds over the last year. There were way more than that, but I leaned heavy on some of the video game stuff and that is only a portion of my business. I sell a lot of toys, I sell a lot of electronics, and just genuinely sell a lot of random. No matter what, this last year on YouTube has been such a wonderful experience because it's helped me hone in on the areas of resale that I wanna focus on. And before, a lot of what I was picking up was just 
anything that I think could sell. But that really doesn't matter because my point of being on YouTube is to educate you and allowing you to educate me. This has been a wild ride and something I genuinely want to continue doing, especially if it provides value to my viewers. You guys are the reason I do this and I hope you found a little enjoyment looking back over the last year. Hunting with Tripler will continue to grow, it will continue to change and always be entertaining and educational for you guys. My one year birthday on YouTube happened to be a really enjoyable one. Thank you guys again and I will see you next time. Take care.